Hi everyone, it's Chelsea. Uh, I know I'm in a weird space right now. I'm on the kitchen floor of a house that I'm kind of like watching over for somebody, but I'm only here a couple more days and then I'm leaving. Sorry if the sound is super echoey. This house is like empty of furniture. The sound might be echoing. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the five things to avoid when you are leaving your trailer or your big rig or whatever. When you're leaving your rig behind to go out for the day. These are some things to avoid. So number one, this might be the most important thing is to, if you have a trailer like me, have a hitch lock. I didn't even think about this for the longest time. I've had a hitch lock since I started out on the road, but like I, for some reason it didn't like dawn on me like why I was like locking it. I was locking it every day, but I, I just didn't even think about why I was doing it. Have a hitch lock so that someone while you're gone can't come in with their hitch back up to your trailer and then just like take your entire house away. That's such a thing, especially like out in the middle of nowhere on BLM land, if someone sees like a nice trailer and they've got the hitch in the truck to pull it, like they can just come up and hitch up to your rig and leave with your house. I know it sounds bizarre, but like this kind of stuff happens sometimes. So if you have a hitch lock, they can't take your, they can't take your house. They can't put the ball hitch, they can't attach to you and leave. So have a hitch lock. I know a couple of these things are gonna seem like really obvious, but I really believe that there are people like me that like wouldn't think about this kind of stuff if like it hadn't been told to me at some point or if I hadn't learned my lesson in some type of way. So I'm just trying to pass on this knowledge to you. It may seem like common sense, but hey, like it's important stuff. So in case you haven't thought about it, here's, here's, some, here's some more things to consider. Before I continue on this video though, let me just say really fast, I am having a procedure coming up pretty soon. So um, if I'm not super active for the month of April, that's why. But it's a really simple procedure and I should be back really soon. But please subscribe to my channel if you are new here. It means a lot to me. And uh, I just, you know, validation and whatnot, you know. But moving on to number two, the second thing to avoid uh, mistake to avoid is to also lock up your propane. So everybody has like propane tanks when they're out on the road, whether or not they're big or small, big or whatever. Everyone has like propane tanks. That's how you cook. That's how you like heat stuff. It's just propane's really useful. And on trailers, like 99% of the time, I'd say the propane tanks are mounted like on top of the hitch. Like sometimes you can just like take pick them up and like they sit down in like a little thing but like none of them are really secured in there maybe consider like what i've done is i took like a really bendy bicycle lock and i strung it through both of them and then strung it around the hitch too so like you can't just come up to my trailer and take off my propane and leave so lock up your propane number three is another thing to lock up or just like don't leave out at all which is like a generator so Generators are really expensive, everyone knows that, and they're like a hot commodity in the nomad lifestyle, you know? So I have a generator and I have another bike lock that I strap that thing to the hitch of my trailer when I have my generator running. And when I leave for the day, if I leave, I honestly don't even leave my generator out even if it's locked up. Like I just don't because there are people that can just get around bike locks. We all know this. So I take my generator with me almost everywhere I go unless I feel like I'm in a really safe place. But I always at least hide my generator. They're expensive. People can flip them and make money off of them and they get stolen all the time. So lock that up too. A fourth thing to make sure that you always do is to put chocks by your tires. I know this seems like commonplace sometimes, but like there are days where I've like forgotten to put chocks because I just thought, oh, I'm so level or whatever. But you really never know. Like if you're not staying on a flat paved campsite lot, your trailer could roll away. Your rig, whatever, can just like roll, roll away down a hill into the ocean, wherever it could roll. So especially if you're not like on paved ground, if it rains and 
like the terrain that you're staying on changes texture or whatever, it can mess up how stable you are and you could literally roll away. So just be careful with that kind of thing and make sure that you always chalk your wheels like right when you unhitch your trailer. The fifth thing is like really, really important as well. So like I have a water pressure regulator so that when I hook up to water at campgrounds and stuff, you never know what kind of pressure is gonna come out of each of their spigots. So I have a water pressure regulator so that like my pipes don't burst. So it attaches to your hose and then you stick it against the spigot so that no matter how much the pressure is when you turn it on, like you're going to be safe. And like along the same lines of water stuff, water maintenance, make sure that you pay attention to the climate that your trailer or rig or whatever is in even if you're staying in it not just even if you're like storing it for a season i know someone that had to learn the hard way that you you really really should winterize your rig before you store it pay attention to the climate that you're storing it in they had a bunch of their pipes burst and that's really expensive to fix and really annoying so make sure you winterize your camper and then even if you're just like leaving for the day and it's a cold place like make sure you have a water pressure regulator and then maybe like run your pipes through or just make sure that like if you're staying in a cold place you run water through your pipes kind of frequently so that they don't freeze over and burst because that would that would just suck it's an expensive fix and like you can prevent it so like why not just prevent it so those are my top five mistakes to avoid when leaving your camper or your trailer or your rig behind for the day somewhere. I'd say the most important thing is to definitely, if you have a trailer, just to get a, a hitch lock. I not only have a hitch lock like for my trailer, but I have a hitch lock on my car hitch itself so because like my hitch is expensive like it was expensive to have installed expensive to me anyway so like i have a lock on the car part of the hitch as well so that someone can't just come and take my entire hitch because you can take hitches off cars too so get hitch locks man hitch lock your car like your tow vehicle and hitch lock your trailer so that people can't you know steal your house i hope you enjoyed these top five tips. Please subscribe to my channel. I know this was a short video, but hopefully it was filled with some useful information and you got something good out of it. Also, I just wanna give a really quick thank you to everyone that has been supporting my Patreon page lately. I really do try to like keep updated with that and I post on that like private content for patrons only and then like also I mail you guys postcards or whatever tier there's different gifts for different tiers so I just want to say thank you to the people that have been supporting me on patreon and also thank you to the people that buy my print and my my prints and my art like I don't feel like a super artistic person but I really enjoy taking photographs and so when people purchase my prints and like even buy like multiples of them and then like make a collage on their wall and then send me a picture of it it just feels really good to be supported in that way so if you guys are interested in buying one of my prints you can check out my instagram I, it's underscore vicari which is like here but i also have links in the description of all my videos so they're only five dollars a print so if you're interested in one i will mail it to you like for five dollars um and like shipping is free i'll just pay for shipping myself so yeah let me know if you guys are interested in that thank you guys for watching this video thank you for everything always and i will see you guys soon